Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. I still feel All like right. Sign. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. I still think there's a small chance that Silence is working against Flarzine if like, he's helping them, but then he's gonna double cross them and shit. These are oh, it's a pink one as well. Whoa. Yeah, these these seem like a pretty rare find, so I might as well just get some stuff when I can. It's kind of chilly up here. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers to do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. I kind of just want to run How with this. How do you like this. me now? <laughs> okay. I think there's more like skill abilities that can make you move faster and faster when you have heavy weapons. Sometimes when I get them I like to try and bring them with me. <laughs> Just in case I can use them in an area where normally you wouldn't be able to get it. But she's gonna she'll just drop it in a second and maybe not let me take it in, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if she held it during the cutscene. That's a long way down. Something yeah. tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Yeah, I can definitely see us getting a call and then coming back up here to have a, a big old battle. So, I'm still going to pick Just up my I gun. Needed. You never know. Just, I mean, there's some serious tunneling work. Whatever this is, it looks very difficult to cut through. There's some kind of old-world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sends a distress signal. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious to me that they'd be looking for it too. So I, I'd mentioned a few hours ago that it feels like narratively surely we should be on some kind of we should be in some kind of race against these guys to try and get the subordinate functions so that's why i was very surprised that once we tried to get ether they didn't show up at all so i thought they were going to be there but if that does turn into a narrative maybe they just didn't want that happening from the start to not make it too repetitive so like four different times you get to a subordinate function they're already there and you have to fight them and so maybe that's what it is, but we'll see. Right, we've got two different paths here. Just 
making sure I try to get any data points as well. These are bits that they're letting me down into that I feel like if they are, there should be something to get there, but... No, I can't jump over to that bit either. No, you definitely can't make that jump. Fine. get my trusty gun. Looks like some kind of data center. Okay. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Yeah, we've got some data points here. Well, at least one. Let's have a look. Storage units access, data transfer initiated, operation suspended, fusion reactor on standby mode, download initiated, beam cast initi initiated, destination redacted. Fusion reactor on standby mode. I mean, that doesn't sound good. Any more data points? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. It looks more like a far zenith one than a than one from Earth. That like gold and that nice sleek white. Everything that belongs to far zenith is very slick. Even those Spectre machines, they're very sleek looking. Okay, so I don't think there's any more stuff here. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. Yeah, I guess the asset was something else. But this was a far Zenith research facility? Damn. So this was before they ever blasted off, I guess. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Mm-hmm. Or anything you can blow up. Yeah, I guess Val's our guy if we're going to be exploring Farzee and this stuff. Oh, me. I can send it to my stash. Come on then, if this is a Farzee's research facility, we've got to have some good data points here. Everything's bloody redacted and shit. So before we head there... Surprisingly quiet. Yeah, okay. 
It's a bit mazy in here. There's like all these different bits that you can go to. Okay. Ectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah. All right, finally, something that's some worthy information, hopefully. Data 2065. Claire, wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust in storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge? Talk about a bargain. And the guy heading up the Eleuthia subfunction, Patrick Brokard Klein? You could practically see sparkles in his eyes when he was bombarding us with follow-up questions on the ectogenic chamber's design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Yes, Elden Ring installed, by the way, my friends. <laughs> um, anyway... They're requesting additional material on nutrition delivery. Higher-ups gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Brochard Klein would probably pee his pants in glee. So, yeah, a bunch of our old tech just collecting dust in storage and exchange. Damn. So what, the, so the ectogenic chamber's design came from Far Zenith? It's their tech. Yeah, so we can literally jump in there, but I won't right now. I'm sure we'll go in there soon. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I don't think there's anything left. So I can head back down now. And carry on from this way. I feel like there's going to be some important data points here, so I'm just doing my best to just check out everything that I can. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Aaron taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus... It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Yeah, so this was a side I didn't end up going into. Okay, here we go. Priority shift. As you'll undoubtedly as you will undoubtedly have heard by now, we have lost the brightest star among us. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter, and on behalf of the new High Council, I commend you all for your efforts and the great strides made over the last several years. Yet as we mourn our founder, we must also keep our gaze on the bright future ahead. To that end, we will be shifting project priorities. Over the coming days, you'll be briefed on exciting developments in longevity research from our Tokyo and Lagos facilities, with new assignments to follow. In the meantime, all ectogenic chambers should be moved to storage. 
refer to your leads with any questions. Okay. As we mourn our founder. So Far Zenith, maybe that's what they originally were based around. Like that was their original reason for existence. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter. Yeah, a lot of data points. So this is this is what I needed more of. So I'm glad we got this. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is. Right, it's 2064. Um, data corrupted has seen a significant improvement, decreasing the time between touch-ups that that commercially require available treatments like Osmanthus as Rejuvagene require. As a Manix team. The latest results from their neurophysiology experiments seem promising, and with the supplementary data provided by our Tokyo facility, we seem to be closing in on functional first-generation implants. Meanwhile, our friends in Zurich have sent over findings on WBE. Mixed results, a couple of promising avenues, but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away, if not... I don't think so. Yeah, these guys were really on some next-level shit. And well, clearly it looks like they succeeded. So, gonna be some very interesting stuff coming up shortly. Okay, so this was like an optional room I nearly missed out, but got it. Okay. So this looks like a big old arena for a fight. Let's see how we do. Later. Sorry, Val. You can't do that. Try and keep up anyway, yeah? He's doing a good job. Still the control very... console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Okay. It's been very quiet so far. Once I trigger one of the... Whoa. I don't know if that's a bug or not. <laughs> it might be. She didn't mention anything, so it might be a bug. Or it might be some weird environmental thing that's supposed to be happening. I don't know. So it's funny, I talked about bugs uh, <laughs> at the start of this session. But we might have encountered our first one, I'm not sure. But oddly nothing in here. Maybe we get something after we try the console. I'm hoping this thing fixes itself. It's still being weird. So yeah, welcome to to the first glitch I've had in the game. But I'm hoping it fixes. Two hundred and thirty-six no. containers in storage. Uh, Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. There you go. Two hundred and thirty-six. Yes. Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Error. Sorry. Two three seven. Okay.
Yes. Clones everywhere. Aloy. It's you. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? before my keepers discover I'm missing and I oh. still need to remove this implant. She ran. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. Still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you, the other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Yeah, this visual glitch is definitely annoying. It's the first one that we've encountered. And it's definitely legit. Um... I think I might quit and come back and see what happens. So we'll talk about it in a second. Let's just see if this helps. Come on. Please work. So I can skip this scene. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I oh, can't no. let it get through to Varl and the clone. I think it happens when I rotate the camera. So like if I leave it like this, nothing happens. That's really weird. Here it comes. Lord just spider becomes a trap on impact. Yeah, I've been throwing more spikes recently. Launch your powerful long spies, explosions on impact. Uses up three spies who are currently set to be a large amount of weapon stamina. It might be interesting. Unlock three weapon techniques. Over in machines do more okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be in stealth much for this battle, I think, so we can ignore that. Low range health. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so the sticky bombs were really useful. It's another thing that I used a lot of previously, and they've nerfed this as well. They've turned it into a a weapon technique. Damn it! Damn, that's really cool. I think I need to unlock that as soon as possible. So I'm going to unlock this as a result. That's dope. Okay, let's have a look at the inventory. See what we have. Equipped. Yeah, this one has 30 defense against plasma. I still feel like this one's going to have some plasma stuff. Again, I'd love to use a canister rope caster, but I feel like this spectre is going to move so fast that I probably won't be able to. But I'll definitely try. And we'll see if we can. So, fine. Let's see what we can do. Need to car carve up some stuff first. I mean, even how long those take to carve. God 
Damn. Here it comes. Right, where you at? I don't even know where it's coming from. Oh, there it is. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Yep. I feel like, again, I'm not even going to have time to scan this thing because it's going to be so bloody fast. I should scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. Yeah, I'd love to do that, but... And it can bloody go everywhere too, which doesn't help. Okay. Whoa. I want one of those weapons. Did I end up detaching one? I don't think I did. And it keeps it nice and hidden as well. There you go. So when it's firing at me with those, I've got to try and... Oh, I was going to glide down gracefully, man. What the hell? That's so rude. Let's activate this as well. Come on, go! Sheesh. No, it's gone now. didn't go so well. Why didn't she notch it? What the hell? She didn't even... That's so weird. That's the second time now I've tried to fire there and it hasn't worked. That's so strange. We need to have a break here. No, not the small one. No, I didn't have it. I didn't have enough time. That medium potion was so far away, man. There's 600 things to scroll through there. It's fucking annoying.
But I feel like going into that corridor is probably a nice idea, actually. There's only one way in and one way out. So it's definitely a bit easier to deal with. Actually, one thing I will do. I can keep kind of lit putting in here and trapping it. Yeah, but of course I need some time to do that. I think we'll make it here. Oh, it's stunned. Alright. That was nice. Come, buddy. That was a hit, clearly. Come on. Are you kidding me? That was clearly a... Uh, I'm a million percent sure that I hit that. Oh, God. Oof. Horrible attack. Horrible attack. And I've got sucked in now. Come on. Move. Doing my best to stay on the move. Ah, oh, only thirty eight. Come on. There it is. Oof. You can there. perform the core mount action mode quickly. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Okay. Oof. That was intense, but we did it. Yeah, I don't have much inventory left for berries, but we've got some at least. And yeah, I use up a lot of stuff here. <laughs> 